about this. Now, he goes on to say that the enlightened classes, right before the, uh, the enlightened bourgeoisie class, actually, right before the, uh, uh, the 30s, that is the Depression, um, knew that to avoid revolutions and, um, um, and sort of revolutionary upheavals of all kinds, you had to actually preserve workers' rights. Um, that workers' rights needed to be protected, wage and labor conditions needed to be improved, and a welfare state needed to be created. So Rubini is basically saying, look, the, the sort of uh, ruling classes knew that in order to avoid revolutions, mm -hmm. like sort of maybe something like the one we are hopefully <laughs> going to make. <bear. laughs>
what I'm saying, yeah, is that not that I want that 68 to 60, 67 to 68 thousand dollars for my own purposes. I'm not saying that by any stretch of the imagination. I'm saying I should have a say in how That's that right. 67 to 68 thousand dollars is spent. That's right. Whether it is spent for, for, for giving, giving, giving people something, um, something that they need or whether it goes in sort of some bank, I don't know, bank payment or whatever else, or administrators or whatever. We don't, we don't even know where that, that amount of, of, of money is going. So here is my sort of like, I'm, I'm going to end pretty much here because I think there's tons and tons here that needs to be hash out, hashed out. Um, that what Marx is talking about here in the Communist Manifesto and what he's against is precisely this expropriation, this exploitation of labor that we have absolutely no sense, no, um, uh, no sort of, of, of stake in what we produce in the sense that we don't have control, we have no say in where that money goes that we produce. It goes mostly if you are a for-profit business, if you work for a for-profit business, in the expansion of the business, um, in all kinds of things ranging from sort of bonuses to, 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 to CEOs and just expansion of businesses elsewhere so that that business can actually move if it is capable to some other place where labor is cheap and so that they can actually give even less than what they are giving to, That's right. to, 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 to their workers here. I'm going to end here and I'm going to say I think this kind of a system absolutely sucks and I know we have somebody here who disagrees and we can have that disagreement right here out on the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.